Hi, how's it going? Wanted to show everyone a neat little Connect application I made. Uh, it's using a Connect from the Microsoft Xbox, so it's not the new Connect, at least not yet. Uh, it uses my exercise bike, of, of course, myself and my PC. What you can see on the right hand side of your screen is the Connect application. It's built off just one of their standard sample codes. We can see my skeleton, uh, the regular image, and the depth image. And then the bottom right is some configuration and some, some buttons that I added myself. Uh, the left hand side, you might recognize Burnout Paradise. Um, so, what I did here was basically when I pedal, it sends gas to uh, Burnout Paradise. Uh, I can actually send any sort of input really to the game itself. Um, so I'll get into Burnout Paradise. First, I'm going to select my car. Now, um, I'm just going to start pedaling. It's going to give it gas. And we're going to get going. So here's the car moving. That's all good. Now, I do have it, so depending on how fast you pedal, we'll give it more or we'll give it less gas. Um, to control it, um, I did actually try to be able to allow you to control it with your hands up, pretending like you're on a steering wheel. While neat, uh, isn't really that effective. Um, you usually will just go back and forth overcompensating, especially at high speeds. So I've removed that and I just have an Xbox 360 controller in my left hand where I can use the D-pad and I can also use the brake button. Uh, but getting back to the gas itself, right now I'm sort of just pedaling somewhat slowly, at least, at least for me it's slow. And so I'm basically giving it half speed. Well, now if I pedal a little bit faster, these are configurable settings. Now I'm basically pretending like the key itself, the gas key is being held down. Oh, thankfully I didn't crash there. Um, I, as you can tell, I stopped pedaling and it stopped giving it gas. So the other thing in burnout is the, the you have a boost meter. So what I did was the faster I pedal, eventually it'll kick on boost and I can get that extra boost and generally not run into the back of a car but it's burnout, that happens often. I'll get over it. So that's really the simple gist of it. The faster you pedal, you can use boost. If you pedal regularly, you give it gas and you control with an Xbox controller. Now, I did try some other things with burnout, um, basically be able to pedal backwards and then it would send it in reverse for me. That probably worked well 95% of the time, but sometimes when I was racing, it would think I was pedaling backwards when I wasn't and would slow me down for that split second, and it just wasn't worth it because in burnout, you generally do not need to brake that much. Um, some of the other things that I like to point out is this isn't just for burnout. Uh, I simulate the key presses behind the scenes, so any game can utilize it. Um, I have some presets in the application but you can set your different pedal speeds. You can also just set what buttons you want pressed when you pedal at certain speeds. So I have a gas and boost button set. Works great for Burnout Paradise. I've also done it with Skydrift, an airplane racing game, which works well because that also has a boost itself. Um, tried it with Grand Theft Auto, tried it with uh, well, an N64 emulator for Road Rash, and that also worked great. So. Um, it can be pretty versatile. I'm looking for ideas of what else I could add to it and also trying to package it up nice and neatly so other people could take advantage of it. Um, so that's basically where I am with it. Um, it's been, been a blast to play. Um, gone through probably 70% of Burnout Paradise with it running itself. Uh, definitely gives me a good sweat and I basically barely notice how long I'm actually on it. I could be racing for an hour and sweating a lot, but it doesn't really get boring like regular uh, bike training or um, use of an exercise bike gets. As far as exercise bikes, this one is a very simple and small exercise bike. Um, it should work perfectly well with almost any bike trainer uh, and probably most exercise bikes. One of the reasons why I have the skeleton showing in the application is because if you can't, if the skeleton doesn't look like it's riding a bike, then the application itself probably won't work. So it just depends on how much the uh, bike trainer, bike, or whatever you're using obstructs the view of the Connect. And now with that being said, you can always put the Connect behind you um, and that should work equally as well. It does work with mine. Generally is less of a cross section that gets hidden when the Connect is behind you. Um, this theoretically should also work with a treadmill 
um, much harder to change speeds. You can't just easily run faster or slower like you can pedaling on a bike, but you can still get the same effect. Maybe instead of running and looking at a wall or looking at a TV, you might want to run around Liberty City. Um, definitely something that can be done. Uh, might need a little configuration since I don't have a uh, treadmill to test it out on, but shouldn't be a big deal either way. One of the other things I also saw just searching around the internet for stuff like this is someone hooked up an exercise bike to an Adreno to play his movies at a certain speed depending on how fast he was pedaling. Um, at least with VLC player, that's something that could easily be done here because it can just slow down the movie if you're not pedaling fast enough, giving you that extra incentive to keep pedaling or you're not going to be able to see the movie. So that was another thing I found on the internet which seemed like a really neat idea, which this could you know, be added on to over time. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot and you know, hope people can give me some suggestions on what other cool things I can